I'm going to play with my products in a whole new way today. <laughs> Trying something new just because we can. I'm using my IOD stamps and paint in a way that I've never used them before. Think about the fact that sometimes it's okay just to try something new and not have it be a project in the end. Like a something you're gonna hang on your wall or I mean it's great if it is, but I've really been enjoying exploring so many different new techniques and using all of our products in different and unexpected ways. This was actually um, <laughs> Megan, do I dare tell them? No. Under here is Megan's barn quilt that she painted. We sanded back her beautiful barn quilt. And um, then I gave it a quick coat of fusion paint in a light color. I just grabbed an old book that I had up front in the store. I just started tearing out some pages. Started laying a background here with um, these pages. Oh, some of the, well, I don't even know that you would read this. I, my friend Sandy sent me a picture a while ago and I was so intrigued with it. I don't even know what technique was used. I thought, well, I'm gonna try to recreate the look of that because I love the use of negative space so I am just laying these on I'm using liquid patina putting laying these on the board and then I'm putting liquid patina over it for this project I'm going to experiment with the sunflower stamp by IOD I want to layer these stamps, so I'll be using the mask that you'll find included in the package. Position the mask over the dried ink. Mark these so you know what side is up. Next, apply your stamp onto your project overlapping the mask. This technique creates a really awesome layered look. I'm just using a Sharpie to fill in spaces where I may have missed. Now I'm gonna pull out an assortment of detail brushes and start to paint over the decoupage and around each of the sunflower stamps to create that negative space. I'm allowing this project to evolve as I get inspired. I've pulled out the largest of the sunflower stamps to create a contrast in size, but I'm not going to fill the entire decoupage area with sunflowers. Remember, I want to leave that negative space. This is pretty cool as it is, but now we're gonna take it to the next level. There's a really awesome bumblebee in the brocante transfer by IOD. I'm gonna use that. I apply a clear sealer over the entire project. This is the Playful Backgrounds stencil designed by my friend Mara from Vintage Retail Therapy by Mara for JRV stencils. Using our new Pentart wax paste, I'm randomly stenciling that sweet little honeycomb pattern. Just a little bit of shine, a bumblebee and sunflowers. What could be any better? You don't have to display it. If it doesn't work out, it's okay. The fact is you just wanna try. So in the end, I really like how my experiment turned out. But don't get me wrong, I could have very easily painted over this whole thing and tried something new again. 
Everything I use today can be found at ellenjgoods.com or at our brick and mortar shop in Medina, New York. If you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button, you won't miss our next project we do at LJ Goods. We'll be careful out there. That's all I got to say. If you happen to be coming my way, maybe we can have coffee.